So I'm about uh, three years in with the 24 uh, foot Intex pool and uh, in setting this up uh, for the third time round, uh, I filled the pool with uh, salt water but now uh, what I've noticed is as I now run this pool pump I am getting the service light that goes red and this shuts down. So what is noticeable is that the uh, salt cell as you can see is no longer generating bubbles and uh, converting the salt water into chlorine uh, so it seems as though there is a bit of an issue with the salt uh, machine itself now this is the it's the model that's about here somewhere it's the uh, eco oh, 15223-1 uh, I think it's a six cubic meter uh, pump, but uh, because it's uh, on its third year, it's now outside of warranty. So there's a few ways that we can go about trying to fix this. Uh, I've seen around a few places online, uh, some which have worked, some which haven't. Uh, but when this packs up, uh, give an example of what it's, uh, what the issues are. There we go. I'll take it apart and show you. So it's now just shut off itself and it now just shows that service light flashing away with nothing happening. So what we could do for one, if I turn that off, now if I turn it back on and hold down both these two buttons and keep it held down for a bit, it's now gone into FP mode. Uh, I think that means full pump. That means that it's kind of skipping all the salt water chlorinating and it's just going through the filter without uh, doing any of the conversion at all. And that is running fine, but that's not really doing anything beyond uh, just cycling the water and filtering it out. So there's no chlorination that's happening on this. So instead, what we can do, uh, after looking uh, around online, there are a few things that we can do to actually fix this. So first things first, I'll leave that in FP mode itself, because uh, what we're going to do is completely bypass uh, the uh, meters that are working inside this to a bit of wiring uh, and just give raw power going straight to this uh, and essentially just uh, forgetting about any of the uh, fancy stuff uh, such as the timers and so on that are uh, built, uh, built within uh, and uh, we're just going to try and make it uh, make it work regardless of what the setting so uh, this is only really a temporary sort of fix I wouldn't really recommend this for a long term but uh, it's something quick and dirty to do uh, while I wait for a new one to arrive so it's been running for a while now you can see that it does consistently run but yeah naturally no salt bubbles are being uh, converted so uh, what we can do we'll switch this off if I turn the power off Let's actually take the plug out. And now what we're going to do, we're going to take these screws out. Uh, there's one around there and there. We're going to get inside this box. I'm going to find my screwdriver. Oh, I've lost my screwdriver. It's in my pocket. So, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Sorry, there's a helicopter going up above me. Oh, no, sorry. Oh, oh don't want to lose the screw. tight angle, especially when you're doing this one-handed. So hopefully that should be enough. So we take the lid off this, what we get... Oh, probably undo that screw a little bit more. Okay, so 
and we'll take this off. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put you there, see if that helps. Sorry, fumbling around for you that. So I'll take this lid off and what we are faced with, you've got a handful of cables and wiring. Now, some people have identified uh, how exact, or well, where exactly the problem is, uh, in that it's this thing here, uh, this rectifier which is causing problems. Uh, however, I have uh, tried replacing this, that did not work for me. But the idea is that all the power is coming up from Mo, well, it's a bunch of these cables, I think the power is coming up from these cables, and they're getting uh, convert, pushed into uh, these. Equally, you've got a handful, uh, a pair here, which are going over into, <coughs> not sure you can see in there, they want lead up into here, and then they go down into the salt cell. What we're going to do is we're going to take these wires, oh, so this is the wire that goes to the salt cell, this middle one, and that middle one there. We're going to take those two wires, which are there and there, and we're going to ref uh, in turn lift them out of that board and just wire them into these two places instead. So these two bits are going to be completely empty. But like said, some people have been able to change this, uh, which you can pick up for like two, three quid at some... Radio Shack, uh, and that works absolutely fine. Uh, there is a model that is on the front, so you should be able to just look up that model number there uh, on your piece and be able to locate the same part. So, here we go. What I'll end up doing now, if I try and park you, maybe if I put you in a more delicate place, maybe if I put you there and try and put this in. Yeah, you might be able to see from that angle. Not sure if I can actually get in from that angle. So, yep, there we are. So if I take this top one out, dang that cable out there, and I'm going to put it into this top one here. So we'll undo that. So now we've got two cables going into this single, single area. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you're seeing that or if my hands are in the way. I've just taken that top one and putting that down. So there's two cables in this top piece here. So put that in there. And tighten that back up and equally take this one out so undo that and we're equally gonna undo that bottom one a bit and then we're gonna have two cables going to the bottom piece there hold that in so wire that back up And that should be it. So now we can put the lid back on. you still got your screws. Congratulations. I appear to have lost a handful of mine. You should be around this so you quick down. So set this back up. Yeah, still got my screws. And uh, I won't put them in right now, but you get the idea. You re-screw it back up. You can power back on and now when I turn that on that is still in FP mode now we've completely bypassed all the uh, fancy lights like low salt high salt any of that sort of thing that's no longer gonna be flashing up the timer isn't gonna work so yeah uh, you're gonna have to be responsible for turning it on and off yourself uh, but at the same time as well this is now should be now generating uh, chlorine to go with it. Uh, so 
everything is now essentially working as it should be it's just you're not you, uh, because you bypassed everything that's there and uh, it's generating chlorine accordingly uh, so again this isn't really a permanent fix this is just a temporary fix uh, but and if you're outside of warranty then I've ordered a new uh, salt water system I'll probably review that one but uh, yeah it's a bit frustrating typical but uh, yeah, that's just a quick hack on how to fix it and uh, get things up and running temporarily. Hope it helps.